There's a new presumed case of COVID-19 in Canada. Today, health officials in B.C. say a woman in her 30s has tested positive for the virus. She returned from Shanghai last week and had not been to Hubei province, the epicenter of the outbreak. Her symptoms started, um, we think, around the time of her arrival. So we're still working out those details and uh, looking at um, the flights and whether she, we need to contact people on those flights. Once home, she had contact with a small number of people who are now self-isolating. If this becomes a confirmed case through national lab testing, it will bring Canada's total to eight. Overseas, Canadian health care workers are now in Japan, assisting 12 Canadians who have the virus. They contracted it while aboard the Diamond Princess. The cruise ship has been under quarantine in a Japanese port since last week. The World Health Organization will begin investigating the outbreak in China this weekend. The team, led by a Canadian doctor, will focus on how the new coronavirus is spreading and the severity. It will also gather more details on the impact it's having on those on the front lines. More than 1,700 medical workers have been infected by COVID-19. Six of those workers have died from the virus. This outbreak has come, expanded very quickly in a, an unsuspecting health system. So we also need to look at how many of those health workers were exposed unknowingly within a clinical environment. According to Chinese media, the number of confirmed cases globally is now at more than 66,000. Most of them are still in China. The death toll has risen to more than 1,500 people, nearly all in China. Health experts with the WHO just wrapped up a meeting in Silicon Valley. They met with tech giants, including Facebook and YouTube, to discuss a different kind of outbreak, the spread of false and deliberately misleading information about the new coronavirus. Jeff Semple reports. B.C. resident Jerry Go hasn't visited China in a year and is feeling just fine, which is why he was surprised to see this. Uh, one day, like one of my friends suddenly told me, oh, Jerry, you are famous right now. His photograph appeared on this local news website in an article about the new coronavirus and face masks. Go was dropping off his girlfriend at Vancouver's airport at the time and didn't realize his photo was being taken. But before long, it turned up again. And after that, like a lot of um, Chinese articles are using that photo. That image has since appeared in numerous other online articles and shared widely on social media in posts warning about a man who arrived in Vancouver from Shanghai infected with COVID-19. They were using my picture as a cover of the news and the news was not related to, to me. The outbreak has sparked a slew of misinformation. False information about the virus itself has spread faster than the virus. With websites claiming the virus can be cured by eating garlic or drinking carbon dioxide. The UK's top tabloids claimed this satellite image shows the mass burning of bodies in China from the outbreak. It's actually a NASA image based on weather patterns. Another popular conspiracy theory on Twitter claims the virus was stolen from the microbiology lab in Winnipeg or is a US bioweapon. Medical experts believe the virus actually originated at this Chinese live animal market. With almost certainty, uh, that was uh, created um, uh, whose origins were from bats. So all of these other origin stories about uh, people concocting these things are completely untrue. The World Health Organization met this week with social media companies to stop what it calls an infodemic. This is the first time we have seen a uh, major epidemic and major social media going on at the same time. Um, I think we'd be better off without both of them. Facebook is now responding to those concerns by directing its users to the WHO website. Health experts stressing that in an ongoing outbreak, it's best to go straight to the official source. Robin? Good information. Thanks very much, Jeff.